हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एच डी ओ रायन वी आर स्टडिंग अकाउंटेंसी फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम टी एस गिरवाल्स टेक्स्ट बुक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एडिशन वॉल्यूम वन अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स चैप्टर टू गुडविल नेचर एंड वैल्यूएशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी कैलकुलेशन ऑफ गुडविल बाय वेटेड एवरेज प्रॉफिट मैथड सो लेट एस सी सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक Let us see question number eleven. Profits of a firm for the year ended thirty first March, for the last five years were, for the year two thousand nineteen it is twenty thousand, two thousand twenty twenty four thousand, two thousand twenty one thirty thousand, two thousand twenty two twenty five thousand, and two thousand twenty three rupees eighteen thousand. Calculate value of goodwill on the basis of three years purchase of weighted average profit. After assigning weights one, two, three, four, and five respectively to the profits for years ended thirty first March two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty two, and two thousand twenty three. Now in this question, we have to assign weights to all the years as given in the question. More weights will be assigned to the recent previous year, and less weight will be assigned to a remote previous year because just previous year is very much similar to the current year and this profit is more likely to happen in the current year because it is a re recent past but the remote remote year 2019 profit is less likely to happen because the circumstances in the business are very volatile they keep on changing and therefore more weights will be assigned to the recent past year than the remote past year let us see the solution for this so solution 11 we will see here profits are given for the years on 31st march every year consecutive years now to these profits we have to assign weights as given in the question so less weight is assigned to 2019 and most weight that is five weight is assigned to the profit of year ending 31st march 2023 because 2023 is the near few, near past and this profit is more likely for the firm to achieve in the next year because circumstances and situations in the business keeps keep on changing and as a result 2023 which is recent past profit is more likely and more possible and more viable for the business to achieve therefore we will multiply every year's profit with weight and the product we will get So to twenty thousand multiplied by one is twenty thousand. Twenty four thousand multiplied by two is forty eight thousand. Thirty thousand multiplied by three is ninety thousand. Twenty five thousand multiplied by four is rupees one lakh. And here it is ninety thousand. Now grand total it. It is three lakh forty eight thousand. now from this product we will calculate average profit average profit is equal to 348000 divided by total of weight what are the total 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15 so because we have assigned weight to profits and therefore we will be dividing it by total of weights So divided by fifteen to get average profit, and you will get twenty three thousand two hundred rupees. Now, based on this, goodwill will be calculated. So goodwill is equal to average profit multiplied by three years purchase. It means. the firm is expecting the same average profit in the next 3 years that is the meaning of 3 years purchase 
23,200 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 69,600. So this is the value of goodwill for the firm. Now let us see question number 12. Raman and Daman are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 60 is to 40 that is 3 is to 2 and for the last 4 years they have been getting annual salaries of rupees 50,000 and rupees 40,000 respectively. The annual accounts have shown the following net profit before charging partners salary salaries. Year ended 31st March 2021 rupees 1 lakh 40,000. 2022 rupees 1 lakh 1000 and 2023 rupees 1 lakh 30000 now these profits are before charging salaries so in order to get exact net profit we have to deduct salaries from these profits on 1st april 2023 zenu is admitted to the partnership for one fourth share in profit without any salary now because a new partner is to be admitted and therefore, it is time for the firm to calculate goodwill. Goodwill is to be valued at 4 years purchase of weighted average profit of last 3 years. After partners salaries, profits to be weighted as 1, 2 and 3. The greatest weight being given to the last year. Calculate the value of goodwill. So, weights are, weights are to be assigned and Four years purchase we have to calculate goodwill and more weight will be assigned to the recent recent year than a remote year because recent year circumstances are more likely and more possible for the business in the current year. So solution 12 we will see profits are given on 31st March of three years. These profits are before charging salary to partners. So we will deduct salaries from all these profits. Salaries are rupees for 50,000 for uh, Raman and 40,000 rupees for Daman. So total 90,000 will be deducted from all the three years. Now we will get the exact net profit which are rupees 50,000, rupees 11,000 and rupees 40,000. Now we will assign weights. More weight to the recent past year that is 3 and then we will decrease as we move away from the current year. So this way we will multiply weights to the net profits to get the product of this. It is 50,000 rupees then it is 22,000 rupees and this is 120,000 rupees grand total of which is rupees 1,92,000 fine and to get average profit from this we have to divide it by weight total weights so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 so average profit average profit is equal to 1,92,000 divided by total weight that is 6 you get an average profit of rupees 32,000. Now, goodwill is equal to average profit multiplied by 4 years purchase as given in the question. 4 years purchase. 4 years purchase means the same average profit the firm is expected expecting in the next 4 years. Fine. It is one of the ability of the businessman to see the future or to judge the future or to take some decisions related to future because future is uncertain. So these abilities of a person makes the business successful and every business and every profession requires this 32,000 into 4 and uh, this number of years of per, per years purchase is not fixed there is no formula to calculate this it is as per the intuition of the businessman to decide that this current year's average profit will be repeated in the future for how many years it is his assessment only so here 
the amount of goodwill we get rupees 128000 which is the answer so this way we have to understand and solve it it can be solved in few seconds also because uh, some questions related to some objective type of questions related to the topic can also be asked in the exams so one should be very smart in doing all these things calculation should be fast the more you practice the more perfect you get i hope you have understood the concept in this video and if you are having any doubt then please put it in the comment section thank you so much for liking subscribing and sharing this channel thank you so much for watching this video